Yes. Mm. How is it? Mm. <laughs> is it hot? Just like That's oh. not hot. It's Bouton just bread and cheese, and I'm happy. Bhutan pizza. Getting to Gangte was definitely a little shady. The roads were extremely narrow and windy. You can definitely tell that this place was more remote than some of the other locations we visited. As the sun was rising, snow started to trickle down from the sky. The way the light was shining on the snow made for a magical glitter effect. I honestly couldn't believe where I was. We're here at the crane facility learning about these beautiful endangered species, the black neck crane. The Bhutanese people want to make sure that it's a peaceful environment for the cranes. So the government actually invested in building power lines underground. Previously listed as the endangered species, black neck crane is a symbol of good luck in our country. When they fly in and then when they leave, they make sure that they make a round in the sky and fly back to Ladakh, Tibet, and like some other part of China as well. I want to get a shot of the flags. Mostly I want to try to get the flags in focus and blur out the background. I'm going to be using F2.8 and try to capture the flags and focus. In Buddhist uh, tradition, we hold those colorful prayer flags for good luck. Blue represents sky, yellow represents uh, earth, green represents tree and environment, red represents fire, white represents air. When we host those colorful prayer flag, it is not for the sake of oneself who is hosting that. In fact, we are hosting for the good luck of all the sentient beings that exist. the only nunnery in this valley. Usually their day starts and ends with a prayer. The very common word they are chanting was Uge Guru Rinpoche, the great tantric master which introduced Buddhism to our country back in the 8th century. Being in that nunnery was such a powerful moment and experience for me. This place is incredible. All the details and the artwork and the paintings. The energy of all the nuns saying their prayers over and over again will forever be embedded in me. I just left the nunnery. And it's usually the unplanned things that really blow you away because that was incredible. I didn't expect to go inside of the nunnery. I didn't expect to be able to take photos inside of, inside of the nunnery. <laughs> and I definitely didn't expect to hear that incredible chant. Wow. The lighting was absolutely perfect. All the horses were evenly lit, and it was just the best opportunity to get unique wildlife shots. It was such an inspiring moment to see this tiny little girl commanding and leading horses. host 108 white prayer flag with a wooden pole as a mourning for the dead people. When we die, we cremate our body, we throw our ash in the river. As a Buddhist, we believe in rebirth. Today was really special for me, mainly because it was unplanned and we got to see things that we weren't expecting. It really reminded me why I love photography.
in the next episode of My Travel Diary. Poro Fortress was built in the year 1644 by Shabrung Nangil, the person who actually unified our country. Today is the big day. We're hiking up Tiger's Nest. It is believed that Guru Rinpoche rode a tigress to get there. In the back of my mind, I was pretty relieved that I didn't have to hike up as much as I originally planned. But that was the scariest horse ride. Mm -hmm.